this is my attempt on a Florida food forest. We have a fig. The bags are oak leaves that I picked from my neighbors that I will use for my citrus. Um, lemongrass, we have kale. My flowers that have died, it is December. This is my um, ever-bearing mulberry. They are very small. A lot of people like the Pakistanian mulberries because they're much longer and juicier. I've been looking for some, haven't been able to find any. Um, sage, kale, mint, more kale, some, this is rapini, um, broccoli rapini, some watermelons growing still, those are this is my my pear uh, Hurricane Ian really made it bent I have to put more stabilities this is my bananas and I do bana I do fruit trees I do um, annuals I do flowers for pollinators this is my other pear this is my asian pear and the other one was a barlet pear and we have rosemary and some flowers that are not doing very well now this is an ongoing project so bear with me it's not done i didn't clean anything beforehand this i put my um sugar cane down there i still have to mulch it that's why i have the leaves that I took from my um, neighbors. We had a lot of wood that you will see by the end of the video that was moved. So right here, uh, very dead soil, very sandy soil. I will do some just above ground beds, just the dirt, the, the soil, the potting soil, the everything, just do some lines of um, of annuals broccoli cauliflower that's what we're doing right now that's my chicken run you have to have chickens if you're trying to build soil at least for me chickens rabbits anything that animal that has good manure this is um, Mexican winter avocado and my bananas now my chicken run was here before and it got moved that way that's why my bananas look like that because my chickens were having a feast as you see you can still see their 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 food right there and all those little sprouts that you see that is oats that's coming my girl seven saying hi so so far we have pears mulberry a fig a banana now this is Mexican guava, or is it a pink, it's a pink guava. I believe it's a pink guava. Um, a little yellow plum, it's looking gorgeous. My girls over there. Now I mulch with um, leaves right now, it's fall. Your neighbors put it in a nice black bag and the front of their house you just go pick it up put it in your truck this is a lee red plum this one gave us fruit last year and on the bottom i have um, different kinds of greens my chickens escaped and they packed at it it's okay we're making it more secure this is my santa rosa plum i just got this one i just put it on the ground not too long ago um santa rosa plum and on that side we i removed all the grass and i put compost down and we will do well a whole line of heirloom broccoli those little green sprouts that you see it's heirloom broccoli yellow purple green broccoli so we come this way like i said we only been on the property for a year and when we got here, it had little to no trees, only two apple trees, uh, ornamental pear, and some crab myrtles. 
So this is my berry lane, but for right now, all of those are um, snow peas. This is, look, I got this one at Home Depot or Lowe's. It's a cherry. I'm guessing it's either Brazilian cherry or some kind of tropical cherry. So that's what it is. And then I have cassia, fall cassia. It's a beautiful farm, um, nursery farm here in Jacksonville called Eat Your Yard. I got if most of my trees from there, most of my berries from there. This is all my blueberry aisle. And those are my blackberries. I still need to train them to go up. I haven't done, gotten to that yet. And all of these are my raspberries. Tricky on the raspberries because these are black raspberries. Supposed to be really good for up here um, for Florida. We're in North Florida. Um, we have some grapes. Now these are, oh, I forgot what they're called, muscadine. There you go. Um, these are the black muscadines and these are the, um, the green muscadines. I will be moving this one to my pergola. You will see right now. Volcassia, um, it's a nitrogen fixer. So this is more blueberries. Blueberries. These, I got these from, where did I get these from? Baker's Creek, I believe. Or was it Burpees? I'm not sure. But it's supposed to be like a, like an orange raspberry. I forgot fall or golden raspberry. Supposed to do well in our area. And, I mean, I'm just trying it out. Trying it out. This is my sun nectarine. Uh, this is going to be a full, a whole full year on the ground. And we got it, we got it like this, this big. So right here. So all of this is new growth. That's a nectarine. This is a Florida King. Now I do intense, intensive planting, meaning I don't give my trees that much space in between because I will keep them at a certain height. I don't want to have humongous trees. I want to be able to control them and train them and, and have all the fruit um, at arm's length. This is more like butterflies. This is more um, lemongrass. We have some milkweed. Uh, that's a pomegranate. And I'm not sure. It is... Uh, Seymour, Seymour, um, pomegranate, that's supposed to be good for our area. Um, that one was actually fruiting, the, 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 the owner of the nursery said that that one actually fruited already. So we got that one, a blood orange, we got some Mexican sunflower, this is Jamaican sorrel doing its thing this is valencia orange i know i should have not let the oranges grow but impatient me we have a lot of um, jamaican sorrel this is the crab myrtle that came with the house now this one this one catfished me i thought it was a pomegranate turns out it's a plum we're still not sure what kind of plum because it hasn't given us fruit um that's another pomegranate. Now I have different kinds of pomegranate. If you're interested in knowing which kind, let me know. This is my first persimmon. I never tasted persimmon, but you know what? Um, give me all the trees that you have, cause I want them all. More, more Jamaican sorrel. This is my Meyer lemon. I planted it very badly, cause I was a newbie planted it all the way near the fence line and it was really planted really low which is the no-no for the for the root stock so I moved it so right now it's in shock hoping it bounces back um this is my my Persian lime 
this is the apple that came with the house now i've been loving it and i mean this apple basically look it was entirely filled with the, with um this moss or whatever it's called and no leaves were on it we put we put nice compost down and we mulched it not enough mulch as i would want to but it's something is something that's another pomegranate yes i want a lot of pomegranates and this is what you get when you grow organic i throw no pesticides no nothing that's the wood that was moved this is my pergola i will be putting moving my grapes over here i want to find a good kiwi but i'm not sure if it's too hot over here this is my pink guava we had a lot of guavas from this tree this year it's still fruiting still fruiting it's still throwing the flower buds oh my passion um passion fruits we have two passion fruit vines now i have a lot of work to do a uh, tangelo i think we're gonna move it this is where i want to put my mango tree next to the pool for heat source as an experiment and i got bananas and that center tree right there is another apple because you need two apples if you're gonna have apples these are my low quads that's my ginger area um this is a tropical beauty and that's just my flower beds some magnolias and crab myrtles and this is my my annual my gardening my gardening annuals vegetables gardening annuals we have lettuce we still have tomatoes going um we have broccoli cilantro cabbages a lot of tomatoes we got going 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 a lot of stuff we have a lot of damage from bugs as well. Um, we have carrots, more lettuces, some salvia, more tomatoes. The free package on um, Baker's Creek tastes really good. I forgot what the name of it. Something with the K and the P and the Y and the L and the very hard to pronounce. It almost tastes like, like spinach. Tastes really good. Kale. This is my key lime. Look at the difference. Planted in the ground. Look at how green and, 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 and the color. Bright green. Deep green, I mean. That's um my... Those are Asian wobbles. You know, the ones that get really big. And look at my... um The one that I planted. My key lime that's in a pot. Now I water this and... And it's sad. That one actually gave me key limes this year. But I'm not doing a good job, I'm guessing. Now, sweet alisums with the bees going at it. We have different kinds of tomatoes and bugs. You see, I got bugs galore here. Um, onions. But this is, this is what my intent on a Florida food forest looks like. This is most of 80%, 90% of the trees are from this year alone. So most of my trees are babies. A lot of the, the work that has been, this is was my beds were not there my fire pit wasn't here the pergola wasn't here the wood was on the other side where i'm moving so that i could have more garden space um this had no trees only the apple tree and the myrtle and all my little gore where the um, uh, where i have my blueberries they had wisteria vines i'm almost dying with those wisteria vines i'm still fighting them those are my fall potatoes fall potatoes my onion bed over there my chickens got in it so they made a lot of damage but 
we'll see what grows more jamaican sorrel this is the the um soil that we bought i'm gonna where where we used to have the 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 logs I will, i'm gonna do the beds that i was talking in the beginning of the video so this is me this is my mess i'm still tr every single day i come and do a little bit of work do a little bit of work not nothing is so fast when you're trying to do everything organic when you're trying to learn while you're trying to build forest and sand nothing is quick everything takes love everything takes care everything takes time look at my my peppers uh they suffered i really I don't know if because is it because I put the um, the pine as mulch that they made them suffer, but I did not have a very good pepper harvest this year. Um, but I will try this upcoming year. Thank you for watching.